Word problems is typically one of the things which gives a lot of people, not just school age kids, but a lot of people, that's what their trouble spot in math is, word problems. So what we do in the class is we talk about strategies for getting around the things that people commonly have trouble with. We talk about strategies for picking out important information that's not just the numbers, but also for key phrases which help you decide what to do with the numbers. We talk about like strategies for understanding a situation and a problem. We have a strategy where we split up a problem into three different parts and then make prediction as a way to get comfortable with word problems and kind of figure out what it's going to be asking. So mainly the class's two parts is strategies and practice. If we had two goals for things for students to take with them when they leave the word problems class, it would be, first of all, the strategies that they've learned in the class, an increased confidence in their ability to solve problems. We try to get students comfortable with what they're doing and raise their level of confidence so that they can say, oh, math, I'm kind of good at that. It's nice to be able to make a difference to kids. I'm a math person, like I'm pretty good at math. I enjoy it a lot. And one of my reasons for wanting to be a math teacher and doing what I do here is, you know, I'm gonna help people see that math is all around us in our daily lives.